guys, it's Paige and welcome back to my channel. Today is such an exciting video as I'm going to be unboxing, testing and reviewing the Kylie Cosmetics Kylighters. I actually managed to get my hands on one of these when they launched on the 28th of February on our website. I've never checked out so fast, ever. And so I have the box here. Um, I am going to be unboxing this for you guys. I actually had to go and pick it up from the uh, Royal Mail Depot um, the other day because I actually had a customs charge on it. So I've been waiting about two days now with it at my house to unbox it on camera for you guys. So obviously you can sort of see my first impressions. Um, if I think it was worth the money and also testing the product as well. I just wanted to give a quick overview of the service that I had from Kylie Cosmetics because this is actually the first time I myself have ordered from them. So I ordered this on the 28th of February and um, it is now currently the 19th of March that I'm filming this on. This actually got mailed out from California on the 3rd of March and um, it arrived at a PO box at my Royal Mail I think on the 16th of March. It took around two weeks for it to actually come from California to the UK and then it was held there until I went to the Royal Mail and paid a customs charge and I just picked it up then. I did actually have a bit of confusion with Royal Mail. They were meant to send me out a card saying there's a customs charge on this item. However, they didn't so I had to ring them and it was all sort of a big hoo-ha but now it's done. It was a bit annoying. There was a £13.46 charge on um, customs which I had to pay at the Royal Mail Depot. The actual car lighter itself was 22 US dollars. So around about £20 for a highlighter, not too bad going for the UK. Altogether it did end up costing me around £45. I had a dollar to pound exchange charge and then for some reason the $22 equated to £30 which was really strange and then obviously I had the £13 customs charge so altogether it was about £43 I actually paid for this highlighter so it better be bloody decent. What I'm going to do I'm going to switch you guys around so you're actually behind me so you're able to look down whilst I'm opening the box so obviously you can sort of see how it's packaged and all of that. Okay so I've just switched you guys around to view me opening the Kylie Cosmetics highlighter. as you can see hello. <laughs> Um, don't mind me, I've just got jogging bottoms on. So yeah, let's get opening. So this is what it looks like when I've just first opened it. It says Kylie and then KylieCosmetics.com at the top and it's all sort of cushioned with like, um, I don't know, like some squishy foam. Then I've just got a card from Kylie, you know, just the normal generic card. This one actually says that I purchased the lip kit, but maybe she just didn't make some new ones for the highlighters. So yeah, that's just the normal Kylie card that you just get sent. And then we're on to the highlighter. So I actually ordered the colour French Vanilla. Um, it comes in a little sort of package like that. And then it says French Vanilla on the packaging there. And then also on top, it's quite minimal, it's quite pretty. So let's get it out. Wow. Ooh. Okay, so it comes with a mirror. I was actually aware that they came with mirrors. So that's the mirror there, as you can see. Then it also comes with like one of those normal plastic films that you get over a highlighter. And then it's just got the like Kylie signature melting sort of engraved into the product. I'll do a swatch for you guys now as well. But that's what it looks like. For the price that I paid, I would expect better packaging. This is just cardboard. I don't know if it would do too well, um, but it does feel pretty sturdy and I like that it's a magnetic closure. So that does work really well. But I'll just do a swatch for you guys. Oh my goodness, that feels like velvet. That actually feels like velvet. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. So, with one swatch, oh. 
So with one swatch, it's quite pigmented. I have seen more, I have seen more pigmented highlighters in my time. That is just one swatch. I wonder if it's buildable though. So I have just built that up and it does look like a really pretty colour. I picked French Vanilla because I just thought it would be a nicer shade on my skin. It's sort of like a, it's like an icy gold. This is what it looks like up close. I'm just really glad it actually got here in one piece because that was the one thing I was really, really worried about. Obviously, it's a highlighter, it's smashing, but they did pack it together really, really well with obviously the foam and stuff in the box. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. So let's get testing because I am hating not wearing highlighter right now. Okay, so I have just zoomed you guys back in on my face. So then obviously we can see what the highlighter looks like. I really want to get this on my face because I literally feel naked without highlighter. Like, So I'm just taking my usual highlighter brush. This is the Morphe M501. Brilliant brush for highlighter. I have just cleaned it so there's no other product on there. So we can really get the most out of this Kylie product. So yeah, I'm literally just going to be putting this on the top of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, um, a little bit under my eyebrows on the sort of brow bone and then also on my cupid's bow and chin. So let's have a look. Oh my goodness. Can you see that? Can you, oh my goodness. Oh my good, that was one. My cheekbone looks wet. Oh my goodness, I'm in love, the color. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I just want to drown myself in this. Oh, can you see? See that? I look like the sun. Like that is beautiful. I'm so happy I picked this colour. This is such a gorgeous colour. Oh, I love it. It really comes across as like a beautiful champagne colour on the cheekbones. So my overall thought on this highlighter is the packaging could be a lot nicer. I think for the price of what I paid, I think we could have something nicer than just a cardboard product. However, the product inside, which is the main thing that you're paying for, is absolutely stunning. I think it's beautiful. I'm really, really happy I got the shade French Vanilla because I did think it would be the best shade for my skin and it really, really pays off. I do love the look of it on my cheekbones. Is it worth the money? That's the question. If you're one of those people that loves collecting Kylie's cosmetics, then I would say yes, definitely go for it because it is beautiful on the skin. However, if you're someone that prefers more drugstore makeup and is on a bit more of a budget with their sort of makeup spending, then I wouldn't recommend it. I think you can get some stuff at the drugstore or products like the Mary Luminizer by The Balm, which is a very similar color to French Vanilla for a lot cheaper and you can get it a lot more quickly because you're able to get them in the UK. Overall, I am really impressed with Kylie's highlighters. I think she did an amazing job with the formula. I think it does look beautiful. I think this shade would suit so many skin tones. My overall thoughts is I do think it was a really good buy. I'm actually quite glad I purchased it as I was wanting one of her highlighters really badly. So guys, that is the end of my video. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed it. This is sort of my first testing makeup product video. So let me know down below in the comment section if you like these type of videos and you want me to do some more. Um, if you do, then leave me some suggestions and I will go out and buy a few bits and bobs so I can test it for you. Make sure to give this video a massive thumbs up if you did enjoy it and make sure if you haven't already, then subscribe to my channel. I will leave a little button just here for you. But I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.